Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Big John's Cooking. Today we're going to do another side dish. We're going to do some uh, some squash with a little onion. Hey, we don't know what we're going to put in. It's going to be good. That's going to be for sure. So hey, hang with me. Let's take this ride. Alright, we got our squash all prepped up here. We got some onions, a little bit of celery. You know, we're going to saute this out. I'm going to start with the celery. Add the onions and uh, do do the uh, squash. I'm gonna add a little uh, garlic there at the end, uh, just to add some extra flavor in there. Salt, pepper. We're gonna hit this up. We're gonna make this taste like oh heaven. Holler back at me. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit of butter in. Hope we can get the camera's way. Toss in that celery. An onion. Alright. I'm going to saute this down for a little bit. Let these onions get a little bit translucent. May not be too much. Cause we're uh, once we add our all right, we're gonna give our onions and celery a little stir when they uh, soften up just a little bit, and I'm gonna, I'm I'm getting ready to put the uh, the squash in, cause now when we add the squash, we're gonna be adding liquid because the squash is got a lot of water in it so once we do that these are going to soften up with the liquid that's in the squash and we're going to be good to go squash is going in Get that all in. Get that with a heavy pinch of salt. We're going heavy. And I guarantee you, it will not be salted. A little bit of pepper. Clean up my mess. A bit of accent. Alright, we put a lid on this. We want to kind of steam it a little bit. We're going to give it a little stir. Stir this in just a little bit. We're going to leave the lid off now. And get rid of all that liquid. And uh, let this all cook in. All right, end results on the squash. We're gonna give this a taste here in a second. We're gonna let it cool down because it's piping hot. Uh, juices are constantly flowing from, from this squash, so there's no need in trying to, to dry it up. It's not gonna dry up. It's just gonna keep on releasing. Once it dry up, it's just gonna be a, a paste, and I don't want that, so. Um, if you like this video give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you have not leave me a comment down at the bottom if you know how to thicken this up uh, I, I know I could put some, a root to this and make it thick but I'm really not trying to do that tonight um, but I'll be right back with a taste of this and uh, let you know how I feel about it all right let's get in there hmm let me tell you something. Salt and pepper, perfect. Salted to your taste. But I'm here to say the accent kicks in the extra flavor. That garlic. I'm just saying. It's all optional. It's all on you. Do it the way you want to do. I'm just here to, you know, 
give you a lead to, to something that may, may taste good to you. It tastes good to me. Do your thing. And I'll see you back on the next one. Holler back at me.